I'm sure everyone knows what this material is called. You've definitely heard about the sandpaper letters from the Montessori classroom. Now this material is wonderful. It gives children an easy, a concrete and a lasting way to remember to learn and to remember how to form the letters as well as learning about their letter sounds. So I'm going to show you how we present this material to the children. It's something easy that you can make if you don't already have it. Uh, and you can use this with your children at home or in school as well. We present our sandpaper letters through an activity called a three period lesson. Now, when I choose my letters, I want to choose letters that are quite different in sound. The sounds are not similar and also quite different in formation uh, and shape so that the children don't get confused. We would ideally present two or three letters at a time, not more than that. That would be too confusing. So you need to see what your child's level of capability is and accordingly decide, am I going to teach two letter sounds or am I going to teach three letter sounds to my child? Okay, so today I'm going to teach you some letter sounds. This is would you like to trace and say S? This is A. Ah. Would you like to trace and say A? Ah. This is T. Would you like to trace and say T? Can you trace and show me t? Can you trace and show me a? Can you trace and show me s? Can you trace and give me a? Can you trace and give me t? Can you trace and give me s? Can you trace and tell me what is this? Can you trace and tell me what is this? Can you trace and tell me what is this? So today we have learned three letter sounds. We have learned A, S, T. On another day, I will teach you some more. It's as simple as that. And this will help the child to remember and associate the letter sound with the formation of the letter. This sandpaper is not a very rough one, all right? It's not a very uh, high grade sandpaper. So it doesn't really hurt the children's fingers when they trace. So if you are choosing to make this, do remember to not choose a very, very rough texture of sandpaper. Remember that our vowels are always on blue and our consonants are mounted on pink, okay? And you can see that the sizes are different for the taller letters, okay? Um, and the wider letters come a bit wider, all right? This is helping the child to understand the letter formation and the shapes of the letters. When you do it, when you're tracing it, make sure that you trace starting at the correct point, ending at the correct point. This is Montessori made easy for you and we're explaining to you how effective and how perfectly the sandpaper letters help the children to remember and understand the letter sounds and the letter formation. If there are more materials you would like to learn about, go deeper into, leave your comments in the comment box below and I'll be happy to come and tell you about this material and how deeply the child can connect and learn through it. So that was how we present the material and now I'm going to tell you a couple of different ways that you can reinforce 
This is just a starting point. After that, you would need to play some games. You would need to do some activities to make sure that your child really is remembering these letter sounds and their formation. So one of the things we do is we play a game called Knock Knock Who's There. After we've taught the children a few of the letter sounds, we play a game with them. We lay out the letters upside down, as you can see, and we play Knock Knock Who's There with a few children or even just one child. And we ask them to play like this. Knock Knock Who's There? And we ask them to flip it over. Can you trace and tell me what sound this is? So it's kind of the same action, but now they're playing a game and they can do it with their friends, so it's more exciting. Remember, every time they trace that letter, it's forming a muscular impression on their mind and helping them to remember it. Now this is way more ef ef uh, effective than having the child write down the letter M over and over on a piece of paper. That's boring for them. It's not fun. It isn't concrete. Uh, it's just repetitive. This is more fun and that texture helps, like I said, to form that imprint on their mind of the formation of this letter. Try it, you'll see. Another thing we can do is we can cut out pieces of card or pieces of paper and in light pencil we can write this and then we ask the children to do a number of things. They can sprinkle glitter or sprinkle rice after putting glue. They can uh, do fingerprinting. We give them a non-toxic ink pad and on their own make their own sandpaper letter. All right. Uh, they can uh, do finger painting, anything that allows them to use their sensory um, you know, experiences to repeat and to reinforce this letter uh, formation and sound. We can also get small uh, you know, uh, magnetic boards. It's fun for children, you know, you, you, they're not very expensive. You just write and then you wipe it, you know. So we can get those, they come in a little size. We ask them, can you trace this? Now, do you think you can write it on the magnetic board? And they write it just that once. They would repeat this over and over enjoyably rather than writing on a paper. We can also let them write on the whiteboard. In a Montessori classroom, we always have a whiteboard that is for the children's use, not for the teachers. It's something that's low at the child's level. We keep colorful board markers and we ask the child, why don't you write this on the board after you've traced it? They always feel very grown up when they get to use that and special because it's always something that's reserved for teachers. So they feel excited. The other thing is that the board marker is a bit fatter than a pencil, so it's easier for their fingers to manipulate and it's kind of slippery when they're writing on the board, so it's easier than writing on a piece of paper. Then we can transit them, transition them into writing on a piece of paper, but allow them to see writing as an enjoyable process, not something that's a chore, not something that they dread every time we take out a notebook, they look at us and they're upset. We don't want them to feel that, okay? So let's find enjoyable ways to help our children write, uh, to make them love the process of writing. I hope you've gotten some good ideas from our Montessori dictionary this week. I look forward to coming back again with more ideas, more information. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss a single video. See you again soon and until then, have a beautiful day.